delicious. Well, hello, Coffee Town friends. How y'all doing? Since we're live, I see no people. We may be here all alone. Sitting here. Well, you've got me. We're not alone. We've got each other. I know. That's what we got going on. Oh, here's Michelle. Michelle, thank you for joining us. That way we know we are on. Yeah. Since our internet still is not working, it's hard to tell if we're on or not. But so far, the data's holding out. Everything's going good with that. We are coming to you tonight a little tired. Um, Mama has worked. Mama has got a bad case. One of those serious kind of cases of fever. Spring, Spring. fever. I wish I could get it more. To get she, has, <laughs> she has... I would have hated to have been here today. It's been that kind of day. She has cleaned and moved and rearranged in every room. Haven't you, Mom? Well, not back through yonder, but I'm headed that way in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all have spring fever yet? Yeah, it's almost 70 degrees here today. Beautiful, beautiful outside. The wind has kind of calmed down. There's none of that chill in the air that there it was. It was earlier this morning. Well, Mama, yeah, it was early, but... Ever since 9 o'clock, it's been nice. Anyway, it's spring fever day. And uh, it's been a cabinet cleaning, reorganizing, bringing out the spring decorations kind of event here today. What are you all up to? We're not cooking tonight, folks. We're not, uh -huh. we're not even eating a bowl of cereal. We have just swore it off for the evening. Y'all ever do that? I ate lunch late. I worked. It was a crazy day. Uh, but I worked, and we had late lunch. And so I told mom, I'm really not that hungry. It's not about to be a cereal night. And she said, I'm not hungry at all. I've ate late lunch, too. So I don't even want no cereal. I said, well, you know what? I don't either. I'll just have a I cup of coffee. Hire, so want something <laughs> well, we right know. Now. We'll just have midnight cereal if you want it. I'm not right now ready for now. I'm happy with a cup of coffee. Hmm. That touches my soul. It does. Yeah. They got me a joke on there. I'm I don't know. Then I got Mama a joke. She's I'm up to a to joke. Practice. You get them always, Mama. No, I don't. Show an ergo here in King. Huh? A snow? Janice Thompson, you're, you have a snow Poor in Canada? Ooh. Bless your heart. Ooh. I, and here I am fussing over 40 something degrees. I hope, I hope those days are over for us yeah. until next year. Now, I like a good snow next year. I'll be ready for one. But right now, I, I don't think I want one. I had meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and oh. broccoli. Well, oh. Sandy Sheets, that sounds wonderful. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Good yeah. evening, Margaret. Listen How are you? I'll get hungry now. Oh, I know. Y'all have us hungry. We'll have to cook. Let's <laughs> then swore it off. Done decided we wouldn't do nothing. You ever have those? It's it's midweek. It's Wednesday. You ever have those midweek, Wednesday, Tuesday, whenever you call midweek? We used and to. Yes, and I God, worked because of hump days to get over that hump. <laughs> it's worse, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard it. that's that's a common thing. A lot of people call it that. Um, there's nothing really going on, and that's a good thing. Um, our sweet um, charter member, Miss June, 90, I ain't going to say her age. If she was to watch it, she'd whip me. Um, and I believe she would, too, if she could. <laughs> she's near mid-90. She got to come home today. So prayer works, yeah. folks. Uh, prayer works. Our church has seen so, so many miracles of prayer. Uh, it's not a, a man-made thing. It's a God thing. And we are so thankful she's home and doing well. And uh, she's got a little bit to go. She's got a little bit of pneumonia. But they're treating her. And they, if she's been on an IV drip. And she's doing, doing great to be home. A few days ago, we were looking at possibilities she might not Make lived it. through the night even and now she's home and back to her normal schedule and that's what she loves so thank you all you all out there who helped us pray for it, it means so much to us and we thank mm -hmm. you for it man one uh, of the church ladies today was talking she's pulled out of a lot of bad situations and still here <laughs> yeah. she's got strength there 
And she Mom's, gives God all the credit. Trudy Reinhardt says, that's how they feel when they watch us cook. They get hungry and, yeah. and we make them hungry. So I guess, Trudy, that's that's term that's fair play. That's part of it, I guess. Hey, Brandy from Arizona. Hey, Donna. Oh, let's see what she said here. We've got 40 degrees in Arizona. Ooh. No, wait. That, no, some, Brandy was from Arizona. Donna, where are you from? Weather is cool. We are ordering pizza tonight. That's a good one. Yeah. We snuggle in. Where are you from there, Donna? If you'll let me see more. No, we don't say. What in Arizona, though? Uh, we had snow. Are y'all having snow? Helen, you got snow too? Where are you at, Helen? It's cold here. It was in the 20s. Whew. Helen, where you at? Don't complain about it. Helen, don't tell me you live in Georgia. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you got that today, we'll have it tomorrow. Um, prayer works, Sharon. It sure does. Prayer, prayer uh, works. A big frost tomorrow morning, I think. We're supposed to get a frost tomorrow? I think that's what the proof is. People, saying. do not, I repeat, do not let these pretty days fool you. It's like a trap. You know where you see those traps leaned up on a stick and then they put a little something under it? That's what this weather is today. This is a trap. You're not safe till May 10th. Uh, we could have, still have frost. We had frost this morning early. Yeah, so when you in the morning too, probably. You start those 70 days, 80 days in April and May, the first few days in May, and you think, I'm planting. Mama's planting some stuff, but she's planted pretty safely. The only thing she's planted is some onions, and they'll take a little bit of frost, and she's planted lettuce, and it'll it'll take a little frost, too. Um, but my and potatoes. But my potatoes won't take frost. You can plant, the old saying here is you can plant um, root vegetables or things that grow underground now. But you can't plant above ground, like, you know, tomatoes and stuff like that. But we won't plant anything much outside till May 10th. That's just the rule. And it's a good rule because after that, you're pretty well safe of frost here. We've had it past then, I guess, but I don't know. I made potato salad with deviled eggs with grilled burgers. Bless. Wow. Oh, Anita. Anita Jenkins, that sounds wonderful. I seen a recipe last night. You know how they'll show those recipes when you're scrolling through Facebook? Well, I seen one last night, and it was for loaded potato salad. And I thought, I may try that one night. I've heard of loaded potato soup, but not the potato salad. I make a loaded potato salad now, but this one was different than mine. It had um, eggs and yeah, cheese and everything. Yeah, it had cheese, but they put um, sour cream in it. I had never tried it with sour cream. When I put my loaded potato salad, I just make regular potato salad and then load it with green onions and purple onions and uh, cheese and bacon and uh, stuff like that. Um, but this had actually sour cream in it. And I thought, well, that would be good. I love sour cream on my baked potatoes. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the whole point, I guess. That baked potato we had, what was it, Sunday? Uh -huh. Oh, that was so good. It was good. If you haven't tried that, what we did was we just took a regular old russet potato. We didn't even, they're not baking potatoes. They're not the Yukon Gold pre-wraps that we like sometimes. It was just a regular old baking potato. I mean, take two. A regular old cooking potato, like you make mashed potatoes out of. It was a bigger one. We washed it, scrubbed it, and washed it again. And uh, Mama took olive oil and put around it. And then she took kosher salt and rubbed on it. And put it in the stack cooker. Put it in the stack cooker. But I didn't it. stack nothing because that's all I was going to cook was the potatoes. But they turned out wonderful. right. Hull was tender and everything. I love something that says. Has anybody got a Hey Mama joke tonight? Crackers and organic peanut butter for dinner. Sherry, it's that kind of night. Now, y'all going to find that a lot of nights this summer that Mom and I will have bologna and crackers and cheese, maybe a can of pork and beans if we really want something, or peanut butter and crackers. We love that. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then we have something we call purple peanut butter. <laughs> And we take peanut butter. They're going to think we're crazy. We now. are crazy, Mama. We <laughs> take peanut butter, 
big old spoonful, put it in a bowl, and we put uh, Black Mama's homemade blackberry jelly in it. And we stir it up so it turns purple, and it does turn purple. And we have purple peanut butter on crackers. You ever had that? Do you mix your peanut butter with anything? There's nothing wrong with my finger. I'm playing with a chip clip. Where'd you get that chip? I was laying right there, Mama. I figured you eat chips. No, I didn't. I just didn't know where that came from today. Right there. <laughs> There's nothing on this counter but this chip clip. <laughs> um, what do you put in your peanut butter? One thing we love. I can't. I don't know the name of them, Mama. What's the little those little maple peanut butter things? Uh, nuggets. Something. Um... Maple nuggets. Maple nuggets. Y'all ever buy those little maple nuggets? They're caramel colored. Yeah, and they yeah, taste yeah, like maple does. and peanut butter. They're an older candy, but they still have it. You can take pancake syrup and peanut butter and stir it up in a bowl, and it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Put townhouse crackers. And put townhouse crackers, and it's delicious. It's kind of like when you take, uh, um, for a quick, easy, simple little snack in something you can use you can just take plain old townhouse crackers peanut butter just make them sandwich them together and then put them in white baker's chocolate melt it put them in it roll it and then put them out and they're delicious and they make a wonderful little uh snack with any party and they're delicious now i'll take them in this when i'm feeling all you know i want to do that extra i'll take those make them and dip them in the white chocolate and strew streusel what are you gonna call it Hershey's chocolate over top of it. And I just do it lightly, you know. And they make beautiful little hors d'oeuvres mm. for uh, Christmas time. Since we're not cooking, Mama, we could see if we can redo this camera a little bit to get you. Oh, I'm all right in it. Get you. Most of the time we're trying to dodge. Now we got the hot plate and we got bowls and knives and platters and cups. And... <laughs> now y'all see where we're really sitting now. See, this is a better... Mama is <laughs> no good. <laughs> Mama's sitting right here beside of me, but when we have that camera at that weird angle, yeah, it's hard to see. It's hard to, to play with the camera. I need a better camera system. I need Read a camera some person. of those comments off those people. This is hi everyone. Please put me. I have to pull you up here. Sorry, I know this is not the best. Please put me on your prayer list this week. Have a big, important meeting coming up. I'm so grateful to everyone. Everyone, let's pray for Miss Cindy Heatherly. She has a big meeting, and let's pray for her and lift her up in prayer. Do you know if someone asks you to pray for them, that is one of the highest honors there is because they are literally asking you to talk to God for them. And I always find it an honor and a privilege when people say, will you pray for me? Because oh, yeah. they're putting a lot of confidence in you. And they're, you know, it's a big deal. Uh, and when they do, please go ahead and pray for them. Exactly. They are needing it or they wouldn't ask. I think I forgot all that. Move on. Mama looks so cute in... <laughs> Her little apron. Mama, what are you wearing? Oh, oh you're wearing oh, Tupperware. Apron. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, here's a little code for y'all. If she wears the Tupperware apron, it's a vinyl it's slick. And water. It stuff. can handle a lot of scent. So when she really cleans and gets serious, she <laughs> wants a working apron. And that Tupperware apron is a working apron. And it, Mama, show yeah. me your apron. Oh, yeah. It says Tupperware on it. It's slick. It repels water and, uh -huh. dust and stuff. She wears them cute ones sometimes. She's got the, what, the Pioneer Woman somebody brought, yeah, gave her. Yeah, it is cute. She wears them, but she, when she wants to do serious house cleaning and spring cleaning and whatever, right here's what she's got out. I need something of water won't soak my clothes with. Thank you, Miss Nola. Keep the prayers are going. I like peanut butter with bread and butter, bread and butter pickles. Ooh, you sound like, like my dad. That's what he would eat. Janet Thomas. Uh, you grew up on that? Did your dad Did your dad eat that, Janet? Because my dad did. He loved not just bread and butter pickles, any kind of pickle. He liked peanut butter sandwiches with 
Chow Chow, he called it, or uh, Mom, what's that? Pickles. Squash pickles. He loved it. Bread and butter pickles. He liked peanut butter. I've told you all some of the weird stuff he eat. <laughs> like, in case you're not been on here, like he loved macaroni and cheese with uh, grape jelly or uh, blackberry jelly in it. Stir it up, make it purple, and eat it. He loved it. it. Uh, he loved, which a lot of y'all do too, because you just done told me. Um, he loved uh, a spoonful of salad dressing or mayonnaise uh, in his, in his pinto, pinto beans. beans. Love that. Now, I haven't tried that. I did a long time ago when I was little. But I haven't tried that in several years for sure. I've never tried neither one of them. I just Mama's can't. not a trier or something. Couldn't get so myself to eat that stuff. Um, he loved banana and peanut butter sandwiches, but so do I. I still eat that. And what was some more stuff he did, Mama? Oh, I don't know. Grape jelly and, and um, blackberry jelly and scrambled eggs and turn them green. If you put grape jelly in, in scrambled eggs, they'll be green looking. Or blackberry will turn them green. He loved that. That's like Dr. Seuss, green eggs and ham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would eat onion sandwiches. He liked that. Love loney sandwiches. Baloney, he likes baloney. Um, there were some other things that'll come to me. We told you all about the salmon patties and gravy and biscuits. Uh -huh. That was a, a breakfast food for him when he was growing up. But I I've talked to you all about it, and many, 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 many of y'all had the same story. And I thought, wow, I always thought it was just us. I thought there's nobody else in the world <laughs> that eats salmon patties with breakfast but us because surely everybody else is eating macaroni and cheese because that's what mama usually fixes that's what i was raised on but um but nice potatoes macaroni and cheese a and friend stuff. of mine her dad ate it with oatmeal salmon patties and oatmeal i like peanut butter and bread too miss janet let's see let's go on down uh mac and cheese uh, applesauce mixed together. Deanne, I have never heard of that. No. Uh, a friend who put grape jelly on her spaghetti. Sandra. No. Spaghetti well, you, and grape jelly? Your daddy ain't weird. He was macaroni and cheese. And Mama grape looks jelly. adorable in her new glasses. Well, thank you, Ramon. <laughs> uh, mayonnaise is your beans. Mayonnaise in your beans. I know a lot of y'all do that. Mayonnaise in your beans sounds like. Kidney bean salad. Peggy, is that how you make kidney bean salad? I can't wait to try the famous broccoli casserole. Um, Cindy, are you talking about Mama's broccoli casserole? It is pretty good. Now, my husband and grandson like putting mustard in veggie soup. Linda, I've never tried that either. Linda Mills? Mustard, just like French's. Dip vegetables in it? No. No, they put it in vegetable soup. Oh. I thought, well, I probably could dip veggies in I love mustard. mustard. I might like it. I'll try it next time I have soup. My mother liked wilted lettuce on mashed oh. potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love mashed yeah. lettuce and onions. My husband's family eats salmon patties on biscuits and Oatmeal too, Tammy. Mm. You're not the only ones. There's we're doing it here in East Tennessee too. Um, it's funny. Funny thing is, we were neighbors with that family that had it with oatmeal. And Dad always had it with gravy, so I always thought, well, it must have just been around this road kind of thing. <laughs> hey, from Ohio, my dad used to eat potato chip sandwiches with steak sauce. I love it. I could eat that. Kelly. Your daddy McCraw. put potato chips on a lot of his sandwiches. I love definitely. potato chips on a sandwich. Like, you know, like a bologna and cheese with potato chips on your bread. Yeah, right on it. It's delicious. It's got a wonderful crunch. And then the salt. I mean, it's it's really good. It says, I always fix salmon patties, mashed potatoes, yeah, cream peas. My I mom used to do mom. that. My mom, mom did too. Mom, but mom also made it for dad. Sometimes we would have some wild suppers here. Just like I tell you sometimes we still do. I've seen times when we had salmon, gravy, biscuits, and macaroni and cheese. Because I would eat salmon and macaroni and cheese. And mama would eat that. And dad would eat gravy and biscuits. 
two different things. So we could salmon order. patties for breakfast is good. Johnny, I'll eat it now. I ate it some before Dad passed, but there was a while there I thought, I can't eat this. I can eat those salmon patties cold the next day. I can too, Felicia. Mm -hmm. I can eat that. Uh, I love spaghetti. Spaghetti butter strawberry jelly. Stir it. Butter. Sp what's spaghetti butter? Or is that two words? Spaghetti I love spaghetti. And butter and strawberry butter jelly. Butter and strawberry. In one plate? I mean like, hmm, Mary, I'd have to see that one. I don't know. You So you take strawberry jelly and butter and stir it up. I could eat it on a biscuit. Oh, I could too. Thank you for those stars, April. Oh, talking delicious homemade biscuits. Flour and gravy, tomato juice covering the biscuits and tomatoes. I'm all for that. Anything with tomatoes. I'll eat tomatoes. Any day of the week. I love. One of my favorite breakfasts, and I've told y'all, it don't have to be, you know, like biscuits and gravy and uh, hash brown and sausage and bacon and eggs. That's all good. And I'll eat it. And I would never turn it down. But I hardly ever ask for that stuff. No. Scrambled eggs, toast, and tomatoes. That's it. And I even eat them out of the can. I'll eat canned tomatoes with it. But if we got homegrown tomatoes, oh. I will eat from July to October. That'll be my primary breakfast every morning. It's eggs, tomatoes, toast. That's it. That's all I need. I don't need another thing. No jelly, no nothing. Just tomatoes, eggs, toast. Mama knows if there's a fresh tomato in this house... If you ask me what I want for breakfast, what do you say? Toast, eggs, and uh, Do you want your usual? Yes, ma'am. Or I'll say, I've already had it. I had it at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> uh, when I was a child, my mama uh, left for work before we did for school. If we ever woke up and smelled fried chicken... Oh, Lord. Mommy used to fry chicken for breakfast. She had a day off and made biscuits, gravy, fried chicken. Now, Thank Judy, you. you have just you have just named one of our favorite. We love fried chicken for breakfast. Uh, Mama's mama always made fried chicken for breakfast. And if we have fried chicken at night, especially like tenders, then there's a good chance we'll eat those. We don't want to heat them, though. Do y'all heat chicken? I asked y'all that the other night. Do y'all heat chicken when you eat it the next day, or do you just like it cold out of the refrigerator? I like cold chicken. I don't like reheated chicken. You I'll, got that from me, I guess. I'll set it out on the counter for 20 or 30 minutes while I'm fixing everything else and let it get room temperature-ish. But it's still cold. I don't want to heat it. It tastes different. It tastes different. Folks, we don't have a thing tonight. We're not going to cook. We ain't doing a thing, but we do want to come over here and say hey to y'all. Invite you into the kitchen for a cup of coffee, at least. Um, applesauce on scrambled eggs. Now, I could handle that. I love applesauce with pork chops. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. I'm going to put this up. I'm you play with, with it, it like a much. little kid. <laughs> if, if something's there, I'm going to play with it. I mean, if it's a piece of something, I'm going to get it, pick it up, play with it. John, can you do... A finger food night. Looking for some different ideas. We have done those, uh, Miss Brenda. But we can do it again, Miss Brenda Morton. Um, we do it. We have a lot of finger food things we go to because anytime we entertain, we used to entertain a whole lot more. We always have finger foods. So we had pimento cheese sandwiches, little fingers, mm -hmm. egg salad, all kinds of veggie stuff. Crackers. Mama makes a wonderful veggie pizza or veggie bars. We can make... Have you ever tried veggie bars? Oh, I I'll get stuff time. together and we'll make veggie bars. That's a great finger food. The thing about veggie bars is it's seasonal, uh, meaning you can put anything you want to in the season, and you use it year-round. It's wonderful, and it tastes out of this world. I've never met anybody yet that didn't like the veggie bars. But anyhow, that's all we have tonight. We're going to drink this coffee. I'm going to go sit on the porch. Uh, it's church night. 
It's port set night. It's an easy kind of afternoon. Mmm. So you all find something to make you happy. Enjoy something. Make some memories. Love on somebody. Be, be kind. It's a short life we're all living here. And let's enjoy it. Very short. That's right. I've been thinking about those years of 12 years. 12 of years of days. 12 <laughs> years of Mondays. Mm. Uh -huh. I'll read that to y'all again sometime. Uh, Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Y'all have a great night. Enjoy yourselves. Bye. Bye.